Okay, um, now we're going to take our nose assembly that we made in the last step. And I need to put a mark on it at a half inch um, from the back end. So here's one half inch. This is where the the um, it gets glued to the um, boom like that. Um, if you want to make that line bigger, the uh, little Estes. Uh, Two marking guide thing really helps. This is kind of optional. You don't have to do this as long as you know where that half inch line is. So there's my half inch line. And I'll just take this. We're going to glue that on there. Take this. You're going to have to hold it a couple of minutes for the glue to set. Again, use the uh, plywood, use the uh, individual plies to make sure that you've got it aligned perfectly straight. So I'm looking at the middle of that line right there. Make sure it's in the middle of my plywood. And a sight along the tube. Make sure everything's good. And we're going to let that set. And then we're going to take our launch lug. Now the launch lug goes on the opposite side of the boom as the little string tie down. So you got the tie down on, on the right side. So the launch lug is going to go on the left side. And we're just going to glue it right in the middle of, the, uh, of that joint. Oops, wrong side. <laughs> Here we go. And I put it just a little bit from the back of the uh, uh, the front edge because um, I'm going to want a string to go over the top of that. Like that. Let me wipe off this glue. Well, actually that glue is a good thing because I need to fill it on there anyway. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And fill it right there. just let this dry and I think we only have a couple of steps to do and then we're done so the next time we'll put on the Kevlar pieces that go across the the holes